and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lux Swain. That's right, we're going to be combining uh, Lux and Swain, another Demacia Noxus deck. Um, you know, Remembrance is definitely going to be something that we're going to be looking for uh, to start with our to start off with. But besides that, we also have the Crimson package. We got Crimson Disciple, Crimson Curator, using these more defensively. Use them with chain vest and stuff like that. And trying to play a longer game, trying to play like a control game. Because we have some awesome top end if we could just use those to help us stay alive. We have, you know, Leviathans that go grab a Swain. We got an Unyielding Spirit, a Judgment. Back to back is a great combat trick. Um, pretty awesome. Other thing that we use to, to stay alive is Radiant Guardian. Um, you know, that life steal and tough. This is going to be an important one to try to, to turn on and have it be life steal tough for us as far as leveling up swain uh the best way that we're going to be doing non-combat damage to level up swain is with our fight spells we got single combat uh you know that can that can be a bunch of damage we also have concerted strike two allies striking those both count for swain level up that's going to be our main thing besides that you know like we'll have our transfusion our demolitionist our disciple doing damage and all of that kind of stuff as well judgment is like instant swain level up looks like a pretty uh fun deck we we just spent a while trying to de debate about the 40th card trying to find what's going to be our last card to put in here and decided on uh playing one culling strike in here um you know kind of that and the might like these these two are like the last two cards that they could really be all sorts of um all sorts of other cards. Yeah, Culling Strike kills champs, but doesn't level up Swain. Uh, wish it leveled up Swain. Um, Might is the kind of card that, uh, you know, 10% of the time you get to use it on Swain and like a leveled up Swain and it like kill and it's, you know, just game winning and, and it really helps you win. What's up, Mozar? Thank you so much. Thanks for that six month resub. Thank you, Mozar. And so yeah, like 10% of the time it's amazing, and and uh, but 90% of the time it's just sitting in our hand doing nothing. But we just rom romanticize over the 10% of times that it kills our opponent, and that's all we remember. Um, even though it's not doing anything most of the time. Uh, and of course, I did just make up those numbers that 90% and 10%, but I'd go to war over that. All right, so let's try out Lux Swain though, and we'll see how it does. This should be pretty fun. All right, Mozar was our fifth sub of the day. That means we hit our sub goal five out of five. So we're going to be having some bonus stream today. And we'll figure out what we're going to play for the bonus stream later. You know, we'll ask chat which I want to play and stuff like that. Yeah, Shen Vi with the 5 0. And that was a lot of fun. That deck felt really good. Maybe we'll, maybe that's what we'll play for our bonus stream. Just play some more Shen Vi. Um, play some more of that deck. Swain Braum. I'll keep single combat to go along with the Remembrance. Thanks, Mozar. And yeah, Culling Strike's kind of here to kill champions. It's, it's in the deck to kill Braum. Number one, you know, kill Anivia, kill Maokai. All that kind of stuff. But then, yeah, it gets rid of, uh, you know, Lucian, Zed, Misfortune. All sorts of champs. A bunch of cards we considered for those slots and I really see them being any number of cards and so if you have other you know if you want to try the deck out and you have something that you really uh, that you really like feel free to replace might and cooling strike what Harvey No. Oh, this no. Hurts. Let us get going. Mm. 
Good. That was very good. Yep, see? That's 5 out of 12 already for Swain. Level up Swain. Easy. Easy peasy. Culling Strike kills Swain also. Kills both champs. <laughs> yeah, Harvey's like, yay, extra, extra stream time. We'll level up Swain. No. See, look at this Might. That's why we play Might. This is one of the 10% times the Might comes in and does something. Good job, Might. It's like, oh dang. Wasn't expecting that. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Um I think we just play the uh the three crimson cards over one Lux, one Radiant Guardian. Okay, never mind, we're gonna play. Virtue guides me. Radiant Guardian. And go to combat. I could It's so like we could play Demolitionist and it would stun the Swain. Right? That doesn't sound like a bad thing. And then I could play a Lux also. Bestow upon them the gifts of our empire. All right, GGs. Praise the Noctora. Remember this day. Because that basically just doesn't let them, you know, doesn't let them block with that swing. They have to find something else to block with. One and zero. Oh. That game worked out perfectly. The. We got the tough, uh, I guess, Vanguard Cavalry, right? The tough card with Remembrance. That worked out great. Sejuani Ash. You get out of here. Um... I said I'm gonna mulligan these. Nor normally I'm not mulliganing those cards, but you know, like we already have Remembrance, so like I'm gonna going Remembrance on turn three, and then I don't really need Crimson Curator and Imperial Demolitionist. Also, like our opponent's playing a uh, Reckoning deck, and that makes Crimson Curator and Imperial Demolitionist less valuable. Took the bait. No. Mm. Mm. Stay back. Mm. I'll try anyway. Uh, 
Let's see. I'm gonna pass. Ooh. That's a good card to draw. The blade, secure the kill. That's a good card to draw. Wait, am I... Okay, now... Hmm. Alright, so I'm playing Death Lotus. Which means... Do I want to play Radiant Guardian? Or Crimson... I mean, I want to play Radiant Guardian, so... Okay. One Ugh. To catch. Ugh. This is a mess. I probably have another one of those. Hmm. Okay, you're saying Lux is going to be really important for us in this matchup? It's your, it's your experience that Lux is going to be really important for us? I can certainly see that. I don't think I get to play Radiant Guardian this turn. Even though I'd like to play Radiant Guardian this turn, I don't think I get to. Advent. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Uh, playing the long game. Playing the long game. Let 
me show you what I can do. Nine for Swain. Right. I could have just played Radiant Guardian there. I should have played Radiant Guardian there. I should have played Radiant Guardian, not Crimson Disciple. I'm glad I played the Crimson Aristocrat with this draw in the transfusion. I'm glad about that. Up there in the mountains. Ah. Dark in the sky. Sure, so many cards. I think so. I think so. By my hand, the Noxus Drive. Grand General! You're mine! Face me! Watch and learn. So many attackers. Good, not reckoning. Man, I was scared of reckoning right there. I was holding my breath. You can see the Demacian border from here. Fire! Such little lies. Ooh. That could be good. That could be good. And that's what... <clears throat> and that's why that could be good. Look out for Reavers. I love it. Let's go. We have done what is needed. They need another <clears throat> harsh wind or anything like that okay 2-0 back to back back to back wins thanks to back to back <laughs> they could not block with the omen hawk swain has fearsome so they could not block the swain and attacking with the swain before the leviathan was critical too because the swain since it hit them dealt all the damage and it killed their blocker so they didn't so that was one extra 
overwhelm damage. I guess it didn't matter because they went to negative one, but... Yeah, I guess Lux wasn't needed. That's a good, good call, yeah, I thought that was going to be the case, but I guess not. Even with, like, four things getting reckoninged. This is definitely the matchup that I didn't really want to face when just kind of looking at the deck. I don't know... Ooh, Unyielding Spirit. That is good. Yeah, give me the Unyielding Spirit. Um, I don't think I can keep Transfusion with keeping Unyielding Spirit. Oh, come on. We need Remembrance or Crimson. Remember the Crimson. Remember the Crimson. Well, if they don't break, they'll burn. If they're out there, I'll spot them. It's one of the worst turn three plays. Nobody even knows what you're saying, Brom. Remember the objectives. A few for the many. Remembrance. Lead us to victory, Grand General. My legacy. That's why I need that unyielding spirit. I just have to untap after playing. All right, we should be able to keep the Lux. Mm. I remember when Unyielding Spirit used to be Burst Speed. Those were the days. Those were the days that were really good. So many cards. So they're only ant. So okay. So if I go unyielding spirit on Lux, their only answer is vengeance, right? The thing is, like we lose on the spot if they do have vengeance. But there's only there's two more vengeances in their whole deck. They've already played one. At nine mana, I don't think they have anything else. I'm gonna go for it. I hope they don't have one of the other two vengeances. Come on! Well, we just just lost on the spot. That's the problem. Is that you know if they didn't, if they had vengeance, we lose. If they didn't, we win. Like that, that's that's what it was. Like if they didn't have vengeance, we won the game. The game was over. If they had vengeance. Now the game's over. They they win. Yeah, I mean, we could just... I mean, I really could just surrender and go to the next game. Uh, I guess we'll try to play, but this this game's over. It's not, it's not happening.
Yeah, I don't I don't think they were going to though. How how they were playing, it, it didn't feel like they were gonna get impatient and tap under. And now that Anivia costs six, they could play Anivia and have Vengeance available. They never I didn't have the opportunity, like I couldn't have Remembrance and if I would if I would have the ability to have Remembrance and Unyielding Spirit, I would would have waited, but that cost fourteen mana. And like they they get to have Anivia and Vengeance, but I don't get to have Remembrance and Unyielding Spirit. And so before they drew those three cards with them, they saw they saw a third of their deck, you know, thirteen out of the forty cards. And so before they drew those other three, I was gonna force them to have another Vengeance. Um, that was that was my thinking. It didn't work out for me, and we lost. But that was my thinking. Yeah, they they have they have a better late game than us, and without us having unyielding spirit. And so I don't think that there was any any incentive at all for them. to tap under vengeance and I, I just don't see why they would I don't you know they had the vengeance in their hand I can't I can't imagine that they would tap under vengeance like that this is not gonna happen I think we had to go for it we only have one in the deck so it's, it is over So we can't. I mean, how can Swain win this game? It was close. I mean, it was game one way or the other, you know, if they, you know, that, that's all it was, is just, if they didn't have vengeance, I would have won. Close call. I mean, I guess if they they just don't have Ruination or, like, a champion ever. I mean, I, I guess maybe Swain could win this. I mean, if they... I just figured they'd have something for Swain, but I, don't know, I guess if they just have nothing for Swain ever, I guess Swain could win this. It's statistically possible to win. In Avarosa's name. Leave them nothing. 
The bloodier, the better. This has been weird. I don't really want to single combat. It doesn't make me feel like that they are going to cast Ruination, right? gonna die anyway. No. So close. My opponent's not sniping. I guess he'll... Yeah, no. Opponent's not sniping. Uh, Leviathan draw Swain? Question mark? I have not expected to be this close at all with this game. 
Darn. Done in those Anivias. Are we like actually going to win this? We don't actually win this, right? After all that time of me saying this game was over. Yeah, we don't actually win this. Are you kidding me? That spider didn't block? What are they doing? Did they just not block with the spider? Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, what? What are they doing? Alright. They blocked with the spider. Uh, let's see. Let's go... Tough. Here. Let's go transfusion here, here. And let's go death lotus. And they stay at eight. But this thing dies. So that's out of there for a, for a future turn. We probably lose if they ruination anyway, so I mean, I guess I should, probably should just be playing this first blade. Wow. 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 That was the game that I expected to win the least, like, ever that I've won. In a, you know, that I can think of in a long, long time. I did not expect to win that at all, but they just took forever to find an Anivia. You know, and by the time they finally found Anivia, which, you know, just took them forever, even with all the card draw, um, you know, by the time they had Anivia, then I had Leviathan Swain combo. And they just, and they also just never drew a Ruination. Like, one Ruination. Don't they play, like, three Ruinations? Or maybe two Ruinations or something? They went through, like, 30 of their 40 cards. They never had one ru like, one Ruination I lose. So, like, the only way that we won that is if they didn't draw Ruination ever, and they didn't draw Nivea until super late, and we found Leviathan-Swain combo, and, like, they didn't have another Vengeance from my other Swain. Like, that's, like, the only way that, that we won is, like, if all of those things happened, and they all happened. Um, Sejuani Ash again. Mulligan all my cards again. Send them all back. Remembrance. Yeah. Dude, Death Lotus has been sweet, though. We've been getting people with Death Lotus. No, I'm not ma I'm not back in Master yet after the rank reset. You can see the Devastian border from here. Um You know, like two the three two, three weeks ago, when that was. I have been going back and forth, like Diamond 1, then Diamond 4, then Diamond 1, Diamond 4, you know, like I've been going. We've been yo-yoing in Diamond for the last 10 days or so. We'll get back there. Warm hearts and hot soup. Show you what I can do. What can you do? I 
guess not much. Faster than my arrow? I think not. No, probably. Probably faster. Yeah, probably faster. Okay. I just don't I didn't love letting them draw a card, you know, just blocking their maybe I should have let them, but the longer you can keep your opponent from drawing the card with the Avaros in the century, the better. Are they playing Fury of the North? Is that a thing? It's probably not a thing, is it? Probably have Elixir of Iron. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Hey, Penguin. Yeah, it's going good. We've been winning a lot of games in a row. Which is also very good. This is going to be tough, though. We did we did defeat this deck a little bit ago for one of our wins. Um, tall as a mountain and covered in ice! Oh, you and your story. Difficult deck to play against. They there's just so many tricks that they can have. I think Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, those cards are so good. You know, like it's a rough having having Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron trade with my um, expensive units. You own what you take. Alright, so that costs five, so if I play Concerted Strike, I only have four extra mana. That means Crimson Disciple Death Lotus. I'll try any one of one. Ride onward. Swiftly now. Come here, darling. Oh gosh. No, the concerted strike. I can't. I can't concerted strike and kill Sajwani. Hmm. Lux is just gonna die, huh? gonna die. Man, Ash and Sejuani are so good. Yeah, so I could go Concerted Strike and then level up Lux and get the final spark. 
I certainly expect them to have some sort of trick. And so kind of want to see what that is first. Um, dang, I'll still try. All right, that worked. That worked quite well. Got a brittle steel out of their hand, also. Really glad they didn't have another, you know, brittle steel elixir of iron, anything like that. I was thinking they would. Yeah, Sedjuani is super powerful. Many tribes under one banner. I just want to draw spells right now, not not units. We need to draw spells. Our deck has 20 spells, 20 units. We've drawn lots and lots of units. That's a spell. We'll take it. But it's not the best spell. I mean, it's better than an Better than a unit. I mean, I guess it's. I guess we have 23 units, 17 spells, if we want to count remembrance as a unit. Um, oh, what are the chances that they don't have frostbite and that judgment works? I'll cut them apart. That's mean. Avarosa, stand together. Probably not a very good high probability that Judgment would resolve. Frostbite, super good. So this will allow me to be able to play two things with Remembrance and then either Swain or Radiant Guardian. I think I'm gonna go Radiant Guardian. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of cards they would have that would um, stop judgment from working. All right, drawing the demolitionist. We're gonna play Swain, then demolitionist, and um, stun the strongest back row enemy. Hmm, which I, could be, which I guess would be the 5-5. Five five. For the Empire. I don't know. I don't love many. I don't love this. Make the Empire proud. I will break them. One mana Yeti's not that big of a deal at this point, because just you know it's a single card. The big deal is the Trifarian Assessor drawing all the extra stuff. Like that's that's the big deal. Was that assessor getting all the extra cards? Pain is nothing. At this point of the game, it's not not a big difference if this costs you know one mana or costs five mana. It's not it's not really the Ugh. That's pretty nice though, Sejuani plus Reckoning in the same turn. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. Today we fight as one. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Oh, I can't wait. 
Well, I have to go for Judgment. I don't have any option. Yeah, the Assessors are what puts that over the top. Let's get a good look at you. So because of brittle steel, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the um, not gonna use the radiant guardian because of brittle steel. So I need to use the other five five. This will take out everything. If they don't have brittle steel and if they don't have anything that costs two or less, I mean theoretically, maybe every single card in their hand costs three or more. And none of them are harsh winds and none of them are brittle steel and you know, none of them are any frostbite cards. Okay, never mind. And none, yeah, and none of them are elixir of iron. See, like fear, I was like, technically we could attack for twelve back and you know kill them. You will be scoured from this land. I was like, this is gonna work, right? Like, they haven't, they haven't found a harsh winds or anything. You know, they haven't found a harsh winds yet. All three of them are in the last fifteen. I'm sure. Wow. Man, if it wasn't for just Elixir of Iron. Yeah, if they were like all Omen... No, because Omen... they could have played Omen Hawk. Maybe it's turn two. Why did they cast Omen Hawk last turn? What are they doing? Like, they didn't spend that one mana. And they certainly had one of these Omen Hawks last turn. At least one. Why wouldn't they have spent that one mana and played the Omen Hawk also? I need just a moment. I don't even know what the I don't even know what the thinking is. Like why would you not play Omen Hawk? With that one extra mana. Well, just like last game, I thought for I thought for sure we were going to lose the last game and we had no chance. Still thought the same thing here, but we are we're still fighting. Cuz you never know. Never know. They have drawn about an extra only the finest serve. 10 cards with Trifarians. Avarosa, guide me! Faster than my arrow? Okay, well, now we know. They make both of our thing both of our things can't block, they just attack. I can kill their 3-2 with my culling strike, uh, still taking uh, 18 damage. We're at 17. We lose. So we're one and one against Sejuani Ash. We did we did defeat Sejuani Ash earlier. Um, but this time they did a little better with. I uh, did a little better with the uh, Trifarian Assessors. 
Really went crazy with those. Karma Thresh. I think I'll mulligan single combat. Maybe keep... I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what I want to do with this card. Um, obviously, we want Remembrance. Uh, single combat doesn't necessarily take down Thresh. Um... I think I'm just gonna keep single combat. It's usually it's usually really good. It's usually really good. Yeah, spooky karma. The card we don't want to see is deny, right? Like they have deny and cast deny on remembrance. That's going to be a big bummer. Please just let this resolve. Let's get our 5-5 five five with tough. Oh, well, that's where things get a lot more difficult now. I must get out of here. For the Empire. Yeah, that's where things get a lot more difficult. to victory grand general yeah grand general lead us to victory So I'm glad they glad they played that Mark of the Isles. Make that larger. It will bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. That helped out. By my hand, will Noxus rise. Lead us to victory, Grand General. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, I could have just done the single combat from... Okay, I guess... I guess, I, yeah, that was a misplay by me. The y'all are saying. Yeah, because I could have just done from the Demolitionist and then just had that thing die on the strike. I missed that. Yeah, I could have just done that. Why did I not attack with the Demolitionist? I guess because Karma? That doesn't seem like a good reason not to attack with Demolitionist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. Should have done that. Not bad. And right, so the, uh, you know, Will of Ionia was something I was thinking about with the with both of those. Everywhere I go, the light um, kind of being problems. So I go Judgment. They could have certainly had Will of Ionia. Too. We 
We do have one more card than they do. And we have a champion in play. Come on, get the scout. Let's get Scooter. Scooter the moose. Ah, didn't get the moose. Yeah, ha had a champion in play. Everywhere I go, the light follows. I was hoping for the moose. So Rekindler puts um, Karma into play. No suffering, so we may end it. I am still, you know, basically because of another ruination, I haven't, I haven't been playing anything else. Um, this is my cause. really good. Level up Lux if it happens. <laughs> the loose, the moose is not to lose. Doesn't seem like a very good play by them to allow me to cast this final spark and do the damage. How am I supposed to get rid of? Virtue guides me. How am I supposed to get rid of infinite six sixes? Figured it out. Heart and mind as one. So I want to do this first, turn this into seven power to be able to trade with the six six. Strength from within. Light flickers. Come to the light. Judgment's obviously the the best like if Judgment resolves, that's our best play. Um, 
You know, Judgment would take out everything of theirs. I think I go Judgment. Also, let's block here. Yeah, I'd say it's worthwhile. Let's go. Let's go Judgment. The problem with Judgment is that if it doesn't resolve, they get to untap with Karma. But Karma's already leveled up, so like, um, going to the next turn with Karma isn't that isn't as big of a deal. Like, they don't get the free spell because Karma's leveled up. Okay, it worked. Good. A beacon in battle. Fourteen. Down to two. There's no man to hide. Ooh, that's a good garden. Can't play Leviathan now. But I want to play Leviathan right there anyway. Alright, four and one. And again with Ruination. I know I had Crimson Disciple, and then the the other Crimson card I had was Burst Speed. Um, so like, if I would have played, if I would have played the Crimson Disciple, and then we would have, uh, then we would have gotten priority again. I could have played the Aristocrat and just dealt two damage to them. But you know, it wasn't. You know, again, if I just played the Crimson Disciple, then they play Ruination, I would have been a little sad. But I guess I still would have had the mana to just go. Um, heck, I could have, I could have, yeah, like, we would have, we would have been fine if they played Ruination anyway, so, we would have been 5, yeah, so not, not a 5-0, but yeah, still definitely very good, um, yeah, another fun deck to play, back-to-back -back awesome donation decks today, two decks I haven't really played before, Lux Swain and, um, Shen Vi, both very good, um, yes, yes, yes. My puppy dog is telling me they got to go outside. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go let them out. Uh, I like the deck. I mean, the Might saved us one game. Calling Strike also saved us um, as a removal spell against Braum, like against that Braum and Ivia deck. It really helped. So, yeah, both of those two cards did what they were supposed to do. Death Lotus was awesome. Chain Vest was probably one of the weaker cards in our deck. Um, didn't, didn't end up using the Chain Vest too often. Um... That could probably go down to one. The back-to-back -back was good. We got a couple of uh, good blowouts with Judgment. Um, and yeah, deck, deck went uh, really well. So this was pretty sweet. This was pretty sweet. All right, that's Lux Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, let me If you try the deck out yourself, let me know how it goes for you and let me know what you think about some of these other cards, Chain Vest, Culling Strike, Might, um, you know, we've got any suggestions for other things and why, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Lux Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.